pain comes in a variety of different forms. Sometimes people deal with headaches, or neck pain, upper back pain, low back pain, knee pain, foot pain, stomach pain, you name it, we've probably seen it. One condition we see a lot of in our office is called fibromyalgia. And unfortunately, these people deal with pain all over their body. My name is Dr. Zach Shaw, and I'm with the Upper Cervical Spine Center, and we see fibromyalgia all the time in our office. Let's talk about what fibromyalgia is. Let's break down the word first. Fibro. Fibro means hardening. Myo means muscle, and alga means pain. So quite literally, it's pain coming from a tight or a taut muscle. And these muscles are constantly active. They can't relax due to the condition. And so these people form what's called trigger points. Trigger points is this area of muscle that's really tight. A lot of times massage therapists try to dig them out, get them to loosen up. But these trigger points in a patient with fibromyalgia happen all over the body. Most of them are in the shoulders, into the back, the low back, into the glutes. But it can be across the entire body. It's a terrible, terrible condition that really a lot of people suffer from. So why does this fibromyalgia occur? Well, there's a theory called the central facilitation or the central sensitization theory. And what that means is basically your nervous system is hyperactive, especially your nervous system going to your muscles. So all of your muscles have these things called mechanoreceptors, and that is what allows us to um, basically balance in space. It allows us to understand what movements to use, things like that. But when we put a lot of pressure on that mechanoreceptor, it causes pain, okay? Now, this pain in a normal person is going to be there when there's enough pressure, when it's gonna cause an issue to that tissue, okay? But people with fibromyalgia, you could literally just touch them and they're, ah, it's really, really painful. That is what this central facilitation or central sensitization is. Let's talk about it. Let's look at the nervous system when we talk about this. So what I'm saying, this central sensitization, means that when a sensory stimulus, so let's say the foot, for example, someone steps on my foot, it's going to hurt, right? Now, in a normal person, someone steps on my foot, that message travels up that nerve, it meets a dorsal root ganglion where it goes into the spinal cord. It travels up the spinal cord into the brain and the brain says, hey, that's painful, pull my foot away. That's how a normal nervous system works, the sensory part of the nervous system. Now, someone with, someone with fibromyalgia, maybe instead of someone stepping on their foot, they just are putting their shoe on. Very light pressure to the foot. That sense of putting the shoe on travels up the nerve where it hits this dorsal root ganglion and it's, it's misconstrued. The, the message from the foot to the nervous system is changed right here. So now it goes up to the brain and now that changed message tells the brain, hey, this is really, really painful. And so the patient experiences pain, much more pain than they should. So why is this area changing the message? It all has to do with the upper cervical spine, which is where I come in. When there is pressure on the brain stem due to a misalignment in the top of the neck, it can put pressure not just on the spinal cord, but on this dorsal root ganglion as well. If there's pressure there, any sensory input, whether it's someone stepping on my foot, putting on a shirt, anything that is sensory from the body back to the brain is going to be interfered with. And unfortunately, in people with fibromyalgia, this interference transmits pain. That's why you can barely touch someone and they, they're jumping off the table like some of my patients when they first get under care. And we know that they're getting better. We know that their body's working better because when we start doing our adjustments, it's much easier for them. They don't feel as much pain. Why? Because we're taking pressure off this area so that the sensory part of the nervous system is communicating with the brain exactly like it should.